Hello everyone! Welcome into the studio and welcome to my Value Village haul. I went to Value Village yesterday. I had not been there in over a year! Oh my goodness! And I was dying to buy vintage sewing supplies. Yes, I have a thing for vintage sewing supplies and I knew that Value Village was the place to go. So, uh, and I, wa I want to talk to you about why I don't mind buying vintage sewing supplies from Value Village. And I think it's a great way for those of you who are crafters and sewers and quilters and all that. Um, it's a good way to save a lot of money on certain items so you have more money to spend on others. Haha. -ha. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this batch of embroidery floss. I jumped on this, and the reason I jumped on it is not only because the price was great, I got all this floss, and I think I paid, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for every single item, but this was no more than $3 for all of this Floss. And for me, $3 for floss that is all labeled DMC, uh, I think is a very good price. This is the Pearl Cotton Floss by DMC. If you do any hand stitching, slow stitching, cross stitching, embroidery work, and you may be familiar with the brand. And so aside from one, I think, of these... I or two there's only two in here that do not have the DMC label on them but I am venturing a guess by the feel of them by the look of them that these are probably DMC uh, there is a JP Coates in here also and oops there's so besides okay so most of these are DMC a few JP Coates and a few that I'm not sure what the provenance is. However, they are all of very nice quality. A lot of the skeins are new. They have the full amount on them. And to me, this is worth uh, the $3 because going to buy a brand new skein full price at the a craft store next door to Value Village, I know that these are around at least two dollars a piece. And I'm in Canada, by the way, so that is uh, why I'm saying that. So I think this is good. It's a good qual. It's good quality thread. I could tell from uh, looking in the bag the thread seemed in good quality, good shape. When I got home, I opened the bag. I took everything out. Everything was clean. No odors. So uh, that's why I keep going back to Value Village, well, more than once a year now, I hope. <laughs> Another thing I came across were cones of thread. Now, thread on cones is ideal for those of us who sew a lot and who also sew on sergers or overlock machines because a serger or an overlock machine usually uses at least three bobbins of thread. You can use four, there are some that use five, six, seven, eight. My machines use up to four. I also like to use the same thread in my sewing machine. I just have a, a special, it's not really a special tool, but I do have a stand that holds the cones and feeds that feeds into my sewing machine. So this makes it more economical than the little bobbins of the little spools of thread, like something like this, for example. So I was able to get these cones. These are, these two are new or brand new and full. These are not. So I got all six of these for six dollars and or around six dollars I should say so to me that is great because 
these just a full cone like this is several dollars a piece brand new at any fabric store and I know there are people who say maybe you shouldn't buy thread from uh, thrift stores or garage sales etc because it might not be of good quality but because of experience I could tell that this thread was in good condition and when I got home I tested all the thread to check it for breakage and it's all good thread none of the threads I bought uh, thankfully none of them actually uh, break easily they all look to be in good condition they're all reputable brands uh, there are maybe a few exceptions but overall I think money wise this is a great way to save money on something that is essential in sewing thread here are all the other sewing threads I got now if it had been a bag of just these ones these are feature value these are or were sold by at Zellers way back when we had a Zellers and this one also is a Zellers brand now I have bought a lot of this thread in the past uh, from Zellers because it was basically all that I could afford with a proper need of proper needle and uh, proper sewing techniques I was able to sew successfully with this kind of thread I know people have had issues and I know it's not the best quality but it was all I could afford way back when so I did get a lot of sewing done with these nowadays when I come across this thread it is because it is a little older I do find that sometimes it breaks but I am lucky in this batch none of the thread breaks it's still in very good condition it was well taken care of and I might use it in my sewing machines but I will use it for craft items I will not use it for clothing items I don't find the quality of this thread as good as let's say a coats thread for clothing but I will be using it in some sewing stitching but mostly hand stitching it's great to use the thread in even if you get older thread that you're not sure about it's great to use in basting basting hand stitching things that are like decorative if you're doing the slow stitching which is very trendy right now oh, it's great for that now to me it's worth to buy a bag of thread uh, I had bought two bags of threads. One was $3 and the other was $3, I think so. Around $3 to $4 a bag of thread to get all this thread. So I spent around $7 for all these spools of thread. Now, I wanted to spend that kind of money on thread that I, had, I wasn't 100% sure would work or would not break because I saw two. I just saw these two brand new and the plastic is still on them see brand new Met Netler threads they are a German thread there is 300 yards or 274 meters on here Metro scene plus 100% polyester this thread costs more than three four dollars a spool it is a bigger spool and I know I shop for threads so I know the price I know the price is higher so for me to pay seven dollars for all of these threads and to get these two that are brand new was definitely worth it it was like I got all this for free so uh, yeah to me it's worth to buy thread from the thrift store when I can find some brand new spools I can find spools of very good quality thread inside and when I get home and I check the thread and it doesn't break it's clean it doesn't have any odors that's when I suggest buying thread from the first store is worth it so if you see a bag of thread in a garage sale or something that has brand name thread and there's a few rolls that are brand new and they look clean and they come from a smoke-free home then you should be good to go with that thread 
Also in my bundles of supplies, there were pins and needles. So all of these supplies came out to like maybe 50 cents, a dollar at the most each. So that is incredible. These needles, assorted needles, are very inexpensive, uh, but they do the trick. In a pinch, you need to sew something really quick. They'll do, they'll do the job. They may not be the highest quality, but they work. So that's all that matters. These pins are the runway pins. Uh, this is a super fine sharp pin for fine fabrics. And this one is a ballpoint pin, which is great to use on knit fabrics. They're pins. When you sew, you need a lot of pins. You never have enough. Uh, yeah, and I like to use pins in fashion sewing more than I like to use clips. Clips I like to use in quilting or crafting, but when it comes to sewing clothing, I prefer to use regular pins. So these are a very good buy as well. There were some buttons in the package. I did not buy the package because of the buttons because goodness knows I have way too many buttons already but you think about it I got all the pins the needles the buttons in one bag and I think it was like three dollars and look at the price of these buttons and this is this is not brand new uh, this was three dollars and 69 cents full price for this card of two buttons this is probably from the 80s so it does have a little bit of age and it has yellowed, um, but $3.69, like 30 years ago? <laughs> really? That That's expensive. So it's worth me, my paying $3 for the entire bag. I got a bag with beads. I bought the bag because they were all glass beads. And again, I got all these beads. These are beads that you can buy at the dollar store, but they are glass. These are all decent quality glass beads. And I think I paid $2 for the bundle of beads. And uh, glass, I prefer to buy glass beads than plastic for good sewing. I have tons of plastic beads already. So for me, this is worth it because I know that when I need a bead and I have to pay full price for them uh, I will have to pay maybe four dollars for this many glass beads somewhere else so yeah I'll take this another thing that I scored and this was packed with other supplies threads pins and whatnot were these bobbins now when I find a bag that has a nearly full package of wound wound these are full of thread bobbins with pins needles buttons whatever and it's only three dollars for the lot of course i will jump on them because i know that wound bobbins like this that do fit in several of my so and several of my machines cost more than three dollars just for this so yes this was a good deal uh, these are dritz the dritz brand they are pre-round for me one less thing to do to get sewing on projects love it i usually wind my own bobbins but black and white it was so inexpensive of course i got this these are metal bobbins there's a little box of empty metal bobbins that came along with the plastic ones and I do have a vintage sewing machine um, that will take these metal bobbins. So it's perfect. So win-win. Now in one of the, the bags, I think it was with the bobbins, there was this really cheap uh, little sewing kit. And this is something that's available at dollar stores probably. I'm sure I'm, I recognize it from dollar stores. Um, and it's very low quality. And this was, the box is hard to open. You know, this is very cheap quality. But obviously the person who had this before 
just use the needle threader. And if you pay a dollar for this at the dollar store because you're in a pinch, it's worth it. It's You're not wasting your money. So, but in here, I still have brand new safety pins and they're nice and tiny little safety pins. So this is great for when I wanna add some elements to art journals for my other, my other crafting, maybe, maybe in sewing, there's some pins. I don't find these are the best pins for pinning my good quality fabrics, but I will use them in crafts. This thread, again, there's very little thread on these spools, and it's very cheap thread. I don't recommend sewing with this, but you know what? Traveling, having this in my suitcase with some needles, in a pinch, if I lose a button or I, a button falls off or something, I'm really happy to have this. So again, this is a great thing to have in a pinch. You can't go wrong with a measuring tape, even a cheap little plastic thimble. Um, but yeah, the buttons, the safety pins, the pins, there's even some eye hook closures. Those are the things that you have on the waistband of pants, skirts, uh, etc. And a little pair of scissors. They're not the best quality scissors. You would not, I would not cut fabric with this, but I would definitely cut thread. So all this was in one of the bags with the needles and pins. <clears throat> there was also a zipper, uh, just a very inexpensive nylon zipper, but it has a metal pull. It's a small zipper, it's only seven inches, but this is a great little zipper to either make uh, a side uh, entry for a pair of shorts, let's say, or to make a little bag. This is a perfect size for like a little toiletry bag, a little case of some sort. And they're not, these were not the most expensive, but hey, need a zipper and a pinch? Got it. I picked up this bag <laughs> that had these little craft supplies in it because it had the cutest little die cuts this was with a sewing theme. They're just little die cuts that you punch out. And I got it because there was, it says, you are so special. There's a little mannequin sewing machine. There's actually two sheets, but they're kind of coming apart. <laughs> so I just thought that was really, really sweet, right up my alley. And I got this bag that had the die cuts these metal embellishments, these little paper flowers, and they are from Michaels, and some acrylic gems. And that was $2 or $1.99. So I can't go wrong with that. I did do very well on fabric. I picked up a bunch of 100% cotton quilt fabrics that are relatively new and I paid very little for them. I was able to get, actually, where is that? I can find it, oh. Here is, this is, it's not a full charm pack, uh, and it's, I think it's the four inch square. It is 100% cotton with different finishes on it. This is excellent fabric for quilting. I got this in a bag with some other fabrics, and it was only $4. This alone is more than $4, so I know I did good. Nothing smells, everything is clean. I, I did pretty well on this. I do wash my fabrics before I sew with them, though. It's just a habit of mine when I come home from the fabric store, or the thrift store especially, I do wash all my fabrics before I use them. But right now, I wanted to show them to you. Right now, while well, they're all stiff and brand new, I also got this fat quarter that was in there. I got these little fat quarters. Are these fat quarters? This is, yeah, this is a fat quarter, 18 by 21. These are also fat quarters, 18 by 21, as well as this. It looks vintage, but it's new. This also looks vintage, but it's new. These fabrics, I believe, are sold there. I, I think they sell these at Michael's. They sell these at Walmart. 
They might sell these at the fabric stores too. I haven't been to a fabric store in ages, so I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, they're definitely, this is usually would have cost me way more than $4 at the store. Picked up this bag. They were these pieces of fancy fabrics that were all scrunched up in a little bag for like $4. But this is great for any type of fantasy sewing or when I am doing some funky project, I just need a little bit of sparkle. It's not worth it to me to go buy a big, like a whole meter of this, but I like to have little pieces. This is a very silky. This is not a pure silk, but it, it is super silky uh, fabric with dragons on it. This has all these sparkles and this one too. Um, there were large pieces available, but I did not need large pieces for anything. But I do like to have small pieces like this for making embellishments for, there's, I make so many things. Um, yeah, I, I will be using this. In another bag, there was a batch of quilt squares. These have all been machine, well they're all handmade. This is all handmade machine stitched quilt squares. This is all 100% cotton fabric. I know my fabrics quite well and they're they're sewn very well. The person who put these together uh, is is knowledgeable, does is a knowledgeable or was a knowledgeable person and uh, did a very good job. And maybe just this didn't fit her or his stash anymore and they got rid of it or who knows, maybe this is from an estate. I don't know, but uh, yeah, very, very nice quality. And in that bag, I also have these pieces. These two are usually fat quarters that are sold in various stores like this one is from a fabric store in Ottawa and usually this is like four dollars for one fat quarter but here I have one two three four five six fat quarters and a stack of quilt squares and I believe the entire bag was three or four dollars so I think that is worthwhile. Another thing that was really worthwhile to me was this small bolt of fabric. It's a poly cotton blend. It is a full bolt. It's brand new. And here's an extra piece. This was $4.99. Well, I can tell you that next door in a brand, a big box craft store, the exact same bundle was Retail price is $14.99. So I'm pretty happy about this one. The exact same, I swear. I also got this one for $4.99, which has even more fabric on it. I don't know how much, but this is a white flannel type. Also, I'm assuming this is probably a this is not 100% cotton. I'm pretty sure it's a poly cotton blend. So I got this also for $4.99. It has been cut slightly, but seriously, $4.99 versus $14.99 or more? Um, yes, please. A couple sewing tools I got. For $1.99, I got these in a bag. I wasn't sure exactly what they were and I checked when I got home and I, I my suspicion were my suspicions were right. I, I would ugh. what I suspected was right. Okay. These are sewing guides for sewing the flies on pants. Flies uh with you know where you put the zipper or lapel no not lapels. Um yeah. Anyway, that's what they are. <laughs> or guides for that. So $1.99. Stuff like this goes for like $18 maybe in this fabric store. So yeah, I'll take it. Now, 
And this bag, I did not take it out of the bag. It is very, very clean. It is very well wound. I'm not messing with this. This is a type of, oh, I forgot what it's called. It's a type of webbing. It's a band that is used to sew curtains when you are making pleated curtains uh, and such or to give body to a decorative fabric for home decor. And this is very expensive. When you make a project, when you sew curtains, when you do anything like that, and you, and you go to the store, and with, when you're shopping for making curtains for your home, and if you go to a fabric store, and you start to add up everything that you need to make yourself a pair of curtains, of course, majority of people will be discouraged and say, forget that. It costs me more to make it than to, to, to buy it or to have it made. And you're right, but when I saw that this was only $4.99, I bought it because I know that something like this is way more, this would cost me a lot more money. So I have it in my stash. If I need to repair any curtain or if I want to make a new curtain, uh, I will have it and it will have cost me pennies. In addition to uh, finding sewing notions, I also found some books for my creativity. I found this magazine on cross-stitching and the magazines at Value Village, uh, boy, let's say, don't remember how much these are I think magazines are like a dollar 29 at value village or something like that so I got this cross stitch magazine um, I'm into hand stitching lately so I just thought I would give up this one a look see just for fun I also picked up this Canada's history magazine um, about the in I was interested in reading about the daring story of Canada's first woman pilot but also I like old stuff magazines with old style pictures for collage work so that is what I'll be doing with that and for more collage work I got this book uh, memories of a lifetime alphabets and ornaments it is a book that you can cut into there is a CD with more images to cut into this was uh, $5.99 as well as this one. This one is borders and frames and it's got all these lovely images that can be cut and used for collage. And finally, I picked up this book on quilting. This I don't have this book. And of course I was attracted to it because of the subject. It's cats and quilts. So it's quilting kitty cats and um, I don't have anything like that and since I love kitty cats I thought the patterns inside would be really nice for applique even if I don't use it in a full quilt or I could use it on a pillow a bag whatnot uh, I don't have to make the pattern if it's already in here <laughs> and a few other things I picked up or this box this was well sealed brand new decorative napkins and candles inside. I got it because I like to collect napkins for uh, collage and decoupage. I've done a few videos on that. And the candles are always very, very practical. And they are very nice and brand new. So I will be putting these candles in my uh, dining room buffet thing with my candle holders for the next time we have guests over and we have candles haha <laughs> okay or for a power outage that will probably come first I got a package that had playing cards in it just again for my collage work I was interested in the vintage looking images they are not vintage cards at all but they have vintage looking images and last but not least jumbo paper clips Great stuff to use for paper crafting, especially for art journaling. 
junk journaling, vintage style. Um, these are the old school rough type of metal paper clips. So got that and I got two boxes of this and I think I paid two dollars for all of these. So that's it for my Value Village haul. Uh, my first of the year and my first in a year. <laughs> And I had a blast. I had a blast. Uh, it, the store I visited was very conscious of uh, respecting all pandemic rules. And the people in the store seemed to be very respectful, too. I felt safe and comfortable. And uh, I got what I needed. And I'm really glad because I found things that I, I was actually needing for some projects that I'm working on right now. I needed some uh, thread. I needed some beads for some projects and I found them at Value Village. And I actually got some needles. I did need some uh, needles, but these were not the ones I needed. But nonetheless, uh, I almost found them there too. So I am I was very happy to find things for actual projects that I'm working on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you found it inspirational and the next time you have an opportunity to check out your thrift stores uh, just be careful when you're looking at buying threads not all threads are good quality I lucked out this time I got some really good quality threads from uh, a bag from a, two bags at the thrift store uh, and I will be using these threads. Be mindful that often the thread is old and has not been well taken care of and it will break. But I really got lucky. These were well taken care of for years, so they're still good. So uh, check that out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you're inspired to get your craft on. Stay well, be safe. Don't forget to uh, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, uh, and until next time, stay crafty. Bye.